Hi, this is Igor. This is the fourth video in the series of proof of concept demos where I show ideas for third party AI integration with DaVinci Resolve. In the past episodes, we looked specifically at open AI like GPT and DALI 2. This time, we'll try something different that's been on my mind for a while. We'll generate realistic sounding synthetic voiceovers right in the Resolve timeline. Let's get started. That voice you just heard? That wasn't me. There was an AI voice I made to sound like me. In the past episodes, we, we looked, looked specifically, specifically at OpenAI open products AI. like GPT and DALI 2. This time around, around we'll, we'll try, try something different that's been on my mind for a couple of years. Okay, let's dive into a very common case. Let's pretend you're a documentary editor. You have roughed out this little montage. You have a music track going and you're ready for some temp voiceover. Your producer wants Anthony Hopkins to narrate the piece. You tell him, dream on, but I have something almost as good, at least for the temp mix, maybe even good enough for the final mix. You then place two timeline markers here. Let's put another one maybe 10 seconds in. And then we'll copy and paste the voiceover copy into those markers. This will go into marker one. And we also have to say VO in the name of the marker. And let's get the other one. Now that we have that done, we go to Scripts AI and launch this little app that I made called Make VoiceOver. We'll select this voice here and go Make VoiceOver. This is actually really fast. And by the way, the images here were also generated using an AI technique that I demoed in uh, part two of the series, but that's besides the point right now. Okay, so it looks like we have our VoiceOver complete. Let's see what just happened. There's a new bin added called VO001 and there are two MP3s in there. The socialist representational style was soon replaced by pure abstraction. Those two clips are also cut for us right here in the timeline starting at those markers. Very convenient, right? And uh, also here the track is named VO XL for the name of this voice. All right, so let's take a listen. The socialist representational style was soon replaced by pure abstraction. The new form was only occasionally punctured by recognizable symbols. Free from the government minders oversight, the winning Spominic designers enjoyed a free reign over their work and nearly unlimited budgets for their monumental sculptures. Wow, not bad at all, huh? Okay, then, I don't know, maybe this British voice is too pretentious. Let's try something more approachable. The app is still open, and we'll try an American voice, uh, voice of Nathan. And I'll go make a VO. As you can see, there's a bin VO002, and very soon, oh, there it goes. We're populating it with these clips. And also, Nathan's voice is now added onto track two. So all we have to do now is mute the first one so they don't mix together. And let's see what that sounds like. The socialist representational style was soon replaced by pure abstraction. The new form was only occasionally punctured by recognizable symbols. Free from the government minders oversight, the winning Spominic designers enjoyed a free reign over their work and nearly unlimited budgets for their monumental sculptures. And then you wonder, well, maybe this is good, but there's a little bit of like a air of authority that's lost that we had in that British voice. So let's try one more. The socialist representational style was soon replaced by pure abstraction. The new form was only occasionally punctured by recognizable symbols. Free from the government minder's oversight, the winning Spominic designers enjoyed a free reign over their work and nearly unlimited budgets for their monumental sculptures. Wow, that's not bad. I mean, like these could be used not just for the temp mix, but this could be the final, right? And what I like about this is that you can easily move these around. You can just edit with them like you normally would, you know, like place a cut here, maybe slide it down. Give it a little breathing room there. By pure abstraction. The new form was only a... And all of those clips are available here to you in these bins if you want to edit them in any which way you want. 
By the way, this is a completely fake documentary on Yugoslav socialist monuments that I put together in 15 minutes just for the purpose of this demo. But I am super excited about the possibilities of this uh, AI voice used in Resolve. I may actually want to build this as an actual product. Please tell me in the comments if this could be of use for your work, what features you'd like to see and so on. I think this could be good for a range of project types like documentaries, commercials. The voiceover quality is pretty good right now and it's getting better each day. Thank you for watching. All right, all right, let's see what this would sound if my fake voice weren't narrating it. The socialist representational style was soon replaced by pure abstraction. The new form was only occasionally punctured by recognizable symbols. Free from the government minder's oversight, the winning Spominic designers enjoyed a free reign over their work and nearly unlimited budgets for their monumental sculptures. Thank you for watching, this is Igor, and you can find out more about my Resolve work at metafide.com.